Hello, this is the next episode of Tales of Versaria. Uh, last time we fought uh, Shigure, and now we're going to take down Melkir for Mogilu. For everyone. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Ooh, expedition first. Always and forever first. Our scout ship has returned. Oh, who knew? It worked. Scout ship setting sail. What a treasure. Let's go. So this is where we last left, um, Shigure's Malak, and, uh, I believe his sword's still chilling there. Unless they moved since I left the area, but we'll see. Hello. It's me. Oh. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could skateboard here. Okay, yeah, yeah. They're still here. Hello, goodbye. That looks like a dancing person. The Mykonoids? <laughs> Alright, Melkir should be this way. I don't know if he's like right outside, but he's... Th this is the way we go. Oh, the volcano first. Melchior later. <laughs> it's scorching. No, it's torrid. Wait, no, it's hot. Can you please stop making a fuss? <laughs> Anyone who can keep their cool inside a volcano needs their head examined. I can feel the power of the earth pulse flowing upward. This is the life spring. That's odd. Melchior isn't here. Have you devoured even Shigure, Lord of Calamity? Have you devoured? But remember, the only exorcist whose souls are worthy of sacrifice are Shigure, Oscar, Teresa, and me! He's above us, at the volcano's peak. With three souls, you can only awaken three Empyreans! That won't be enough to seal Inominat's power. If you are missing even one, awakening them will cause this volcano to explode with you inside it. If you seek to awaken all four elemental Empyreans, then come, try and take my soul from me! What do you think, Magilu? Trap. Melchior's greatest strength lies in his power over ice. I only wish we could lure him down here. Mm. But we dare not forget. He's an exorcist who spent years plotting to awaken a Nominat. Exactly. He could be capable of anything. It'd be dangerous to assume otherwise. Maybe this is the wrong time, but Magilu, you're related to Melchior, right? You better believe it's the wrong time. Long ago, I was Magilanika Lu Maven, Melchior's foster daughter, and before I was cast out, his disciple. Magilanika? The, the lost legate! <laughs> so even after ten years, my name still lives on. I'm impressed. You must have commanded a lot of respect. Not in the least. The relationship between Melchior and I was like that between Velvet and Artorias. The debts owed, and the grudges held. Velvet, you don't have to believe me. You may never believe me. But I tell you now, I want to settle my- I don't much care about the affairs of a witch, now do I? I'm going to the peak to find him. Just doing what I want, like always. Yep, that's right. And I'm going with you. Like always. <gasps> oh, it's a warp. <laughs> it's like I thought it was. I thought it was for my skateboard. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh my god.
The major props to Melchior for like a dramatic uh, landscape uh, entrance type thing. Shigure was like super laid back, just chilling. But like Melchior's all about the theatrics. What's this? A chest! Let me throw it all out. Can it's I? Okay. It's a cake. It's a piece of cinch. It's scorching. It's freezing. It's scorching. What are you muttering about? You told me to chill out when I complained about the heat. Is that still bothering you? I heat up quickly and cool down slowly. I'm not bothering anyone, so go on, get lost. <laughs> That's even more annoying. I mean, come on. If it's both hot and cold, it's not scorzing. It's freezing, clearly. That doesn't sound like me at all. Wait, it's not even my point. My skin feels like a frozen shell, but somehow my insides are boiling! This is miserable! It should be one or the other. I can't stand this fence-sitting! Oh? Well, so what about the pineapple and sweet and sour pork? Gross! A sweet <laughs> omelette? A crime against nature. Chocolate-covered raisins? Whoever thought of dried grapes should be hanged! <laughs> well, then what about peach pie? I don't see what you're getting at! What about yourself? Utterly vile. Doesn't that make you a fence sitter? That's why I'm having you eat that old man and shove him into the life spring. I hope you learn to like yourself. <sighs> Don't try to embarrass me. Good gravy. I wanted to see about giving her that doll, though. Ugh. I've customized so much of the gear. <laughs> it's silly. You know what? I will fight you. No, not fire. No. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away from Moffy set. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. I love their little capes, though. I was hoping that would clear the little message. I didn't think it was going to end the scene. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Oh, I don't have enough. That's fine. You can you keep your cat. last soul to awaken the elemental Empyreans. Are you alright, Velvet? Ooh. I'll eat Melchior and our collection will be complete. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about you. You collapsed after the thing with Teresa and Oscar, remember? Ah, <sighs> you wonder if I'm fine after eating Shigure. It's not a problem. But wasn't Shigure a lot more powerful than they were? But look at me. I'm fine, right? Does it seem like I'm faking it? No. I think I'm just used to it. Both my body and mind. You're not just used to it. You've changed. Mm -hmm. Just as I changed after finding my free will, you've gotten stronger through our travels, too. You faced down many sorrows and hardships and overcame them all. Did I, though? You did. And that's why I... Ah. I'll make you a quiche later. Could you make pudding, too? Sure. But are you just trying to butter me up so I'll cook for you? Well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> yeah. How did you know? You really have grown a lot, haven't you? All right. 
Let's go and find me some Melchior to eat. Yeah! Melchior. Alright, what are we looking at here? Okay, I should go up here first, because this is actually like a dead end. There's a chest over there. Or it looks like it's a- oh my- yes. It's delightful. Don't go down there. Uh, yeah! Alright, I want that chest. I still don't have enough. <laughs> Going through here for the chest. E uh, like <laughs> that is so close. <laughs> Soul bottle, okay. I'll take it. Now we head over here. That should be the next area. A long and windy road. Hooray! Love this. This is probably going to be like a chest. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of gal. Uh, all right. Let's head onward. Alright, I feel like I've got to go down that little, like, curly cue. There's probably something. I mean, the precedent is it's a chest, but I feel like I'm getting faked out. <laughs> so, we'll see. But, uh, okay. Thought that was going to be a monster, but it turned out to be just a boulder. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. Drop bottle. Okay. Now I probably have enough to open that chest, but it's all the way back there, so I don't know if I'll go back for it. <laughs> Hello. I gotta see what's this is the way I came from. Good thing I caught myself before. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh, 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 oh. Good thing I caught myself before I went all the way back. Is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human, and so are those who they want to save. But sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Great question. Because his belief in the exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Uh, wait, does that mean you? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the exorcists. 
Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. <laughs> if Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him? I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch and I cast a deeper darkness. Please, no, I beg of you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can see the peak just ahead. <laughs> If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. He'll throw rocks at us. Right? Mithril earrings. All right. That's that's wild. Is anyone else playing Lord of the Rings in their mind? That's the Mount Doom. <gasps> oh my goodness! I can get my skateboard! Eyes on the prize! Skateboard! At first I thought that thing was so goofy and I was like, I'll never use it. Now every time I'm like, can I skateboard? Can I? Thank you. <laughs> I bet you a skateboard could hop this. <gasps> Ooh. Hooray! Alright, here goes. I want to see if I can hop that, uh, area. I haven't done any door doll collecting. <laughs> oh, whoops. That just dawned on me. That's been there for so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah. Red Verbana. Um, let's see if I can use some of those. So increases defense by three. Bop, bop. Ba, ba, ba. I'm really surprised that Eisen's is that low. Uh, red lavender, or attack, or no, just attack. 
Alright, can we use Tawafi set? Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Oh, why am I like. Ugh. It is hard to control. I'm so sorry. It's fun, but it's like. It's gotta be hell to watch. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Well, at least I got a lot of cat's uh, spirit things. That's always a plus. Maybe I can get that chest at some point. I don't want to backtrack too much right now, though. Whee! Oh my god, that's a lot of things. No. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Oh my god. Wait, have I been this way? Yes, I have. Turn around. Turn around. Oh my god! We're running out of time for this episode by the time I even get to Melkir. <laughs> uh. Alright, down this way. Scales me, pardon me. Coming through, I've got to fight a guy. Oh, a save point, I must be close. Either that or I went backwards. Hopefully I didn't. Yes. Good, good, good. Ah! Can I just stay on the skateboard for the fight? That would be awesome. Just push him off the edge. <laughs> the four elemental Imperiums are the beings that maintain the balance and Man harmony turned. between Earth, water, wind, and fire. Have you even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Mm, yeah. Not really. I don't much care. We kind of just do they stuff. Because of arrogant, insolent wretches like you. The Imperians derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Imperians drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Enominot blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperium, Enominot's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes. Civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. 
Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Illuminat. And in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot exist without darkness, no great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! Oh my god! No, you don't! Aizen, stop! I told you, he's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. That outfit, wow. Rebellious fools, you've fallen so far, Mother Lonica. I'm lucky, Lonica. You're You broke me. Here's your justice. Fight your order. Is it has a lot of health. Oh. Get him. Oh, oh, oh. That was a bad place to be. Oh, okay, that looked worse than it was. Stop his attack, thank you. I thought I was blocking, but apparently not. Timing. Sorry. Stop his attack. Oh. Ah. That's not good. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> no. Oh, poor Eleanor. <laughs> oh, we're close. Okay.
His actor's great. I'm <laughs> just like. A hundred? He's used an oath to add years to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder, but also can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. <laughs> You think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it won't be enough time to finish my art. Oh, good gravy. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too. Emotions are a real pain, aren't they? Oh. What was that? <laughs> the elemental impurities so have awoken. What was that? We are free. We will no longer be your tools. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. What's happening? Sweet. We all leveled up. You saved us, Mal Yuu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, 
we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs, nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. <laughs> and take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate can never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. Uh -huh. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so, um... So it looks like there's a couple, like, last minute things to tie up. Um, but the final showdown is, like, in Midgant. <laughs> I don't know what I was actually going to say there. I'm like, <laughs> I could finish the game or, or tie up some loose ends, pretty much. Um, either way, that's going to be for the next episode. Finger of the God. The mountain doesn't oh. appear to be erupting. Or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. Most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt. That's not good. Not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land... It'll be a blink of an eye. But he know me not as the Empyrean of suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. <laughs> All right. So we're going to stop the episode there um, and then pick up with, I guess, the end of the game. Uh, in the next one. I don't know. We're, we're pretty much there. So, thank you so much for watching. Sure uh, it happened again the for watching this yeah. skit. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. <laughs> but you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. If Melchior had only manipulated Eifried for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason. That creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. Eifried won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs. And I'd still take the heads of Artorias and Enominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, you'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to press the correct button. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>